Hello my friends, David here. In this video I'll be showing 10 things you may or may not know about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I've compiled together some of the most obscure game mechanics, shortcuts, and secrets discovered by the community that most players are unlikely to know about. While it is reasonable to know a few of these things, knowing all 10 would be borderline insanity. The goal of this video is to show you something new and interesting in the game that you may have never tried before. Keep track of how many things you knew beforehand and which ones surprise you, and let's get started. If you start a driver art or special and then initiate a chain attack before that ability hits the enemy, when that ability finally hits during the chain attack, it will deal massive damage after applying the additional damage multipliers from chain attacks. One of the most popular and effective strategies is to use Poppy QT's Scatter Shot, which shoots many slow moving projectiles, start the chain attack, and then use Poppy Cutie Pie to inflict even more damage. The Smold Power Plant Gate in Morardane is typically locked behind a quest key. However, with careful maneuvering and a bit of practice, you can jump along the rooftops, hop along the rocks, and make your way past the gate into the power plant without ever using a key. When you are trying to speed run through an area and get aggroed by an enemy, it can be a huge inconvenience. However, any and all aggro that you attract can dissipate instantly as soon as you begin climbing or descending a ladder. Liked pouch items are more than just a checkbox. If a blade or driver likes a particular item being given to their pouch, that item will have greater effectiveness than alternatives. For example, with 0.4 arts recharge items, the blade liking the item or the driver liking the item decreases the recharge time for arts by a significant margin over alternatives as you can see here. When both the driver and the blade likes the item, the arch recharge effect amplifies even more. Therefore, to have the greatest effect on your pouch items, try giving items that your blades and or drivers like. While typically our in-game actions do not affect story cutscenes, like when you win a fight and lose the battle, core chips put on blades before New Game Plus can sometimes appear during cutscenes. For example, in this scene with Bridget here. The level 100 Gladiator Orion is commonly touted as the most difficult endgame superboss. However, despite that fact, he remains the easiest to cheese. By using an ether cannon and running away to this ledge, you can blast him into oblivion from safety. Spirit Crucible Alpis can be a huge pain in the butt on the first playthrough, especially this large chasm. You can actually skip the entire section by running off this ledge and landing on the ladder below before making some final safe jumps to the bottom. You don't need to send your party to level 1 to earn the maximum amount of bonus experience, SP, and WP from any given enemy. In fact, you will earn the maximum amount of experience possible from any given enemy even up until you are around 10 levels below. After that threshold, as you approach their level and beyond, the amount of experience gain decreases. In Morardane, there is a hidden chest that very few people know about, as you can see here. While we're at it, this platform also provides an avenue to skip the Ananheim Gate by falling down onto this pipe and walking off into the Chansey Wastes. And finally, it is possible to get out of the map in Temperantia into the huge empty wasteland north of the map. Curiously, the entire area is rendered and can be interacted with even though there is nothing going on over here in the first place. And with that, I will have covered all 10 things. Did I show you something you didn't know about before? How many of these did you know beforehand or which ones surprised you the most? I'd love to hear your thoughts and any other rare details about the game you might know in the comments below. In any case, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.